Hello everyone and welcome to the Year 9 into Year 10 option for GCSE Dance. If you're considering taking dance for one of your GCSE subjects, it's important that you understand how the course is set out. AQA have designed the course to help you develop your creative, intellectual and physical capacity through exposing you to different dance styles and techniques. Over the GCSE course, you study many different pieces and it allows you to explore your talent and your passion for dance in a variety of contexts. The course is split into two parts, practical and theory. The practical is worth 60% of the overall grade and is further divided into different sections. The first part is your performance element. You'll be expected to perform two set phrases these are created by AQA and are the same for every single student across the country taking GCSE dance. You're expected to perform two of these phrases as a soloist. They're about 30 seconds each in duration. You'll also be expected to perform as part of a duet or a trio. And the choreography for this piece comes from the remaining two set phrases. Both of these performance elements together are worth 40 marks and 30% your grade. Next comes the choreography element. In year 11, the exam board release sets stimuli and you must choose your own idea, music, movement, style and structure to choreograph a piece that is inspired by one of these stimuli. The choreography piece is worth 40 marks and 30%. The theoretical element of the GCSE is worth 40% of your overall grade. And although it is studied throughout the entire course, it is only assessed at the end of year 11 through a 90 minute paper that's worth 80 marks. The paper has three sections to it. The first being knowledge and understanding of choreographic processes and performance skills. You will be asked here to respond to different stimuli to create choreographic ideas, you will be asked to talk through the choreographic process, as well as being able to identify, define, improve, and generally discuss the performance skills that you have used in your practical work. The second section is called critical appreciation of your own work. Here you are expected to discuss your performance and your choreography pieces. And in the third section, it is a critical appreciation of the professional works. You study six throughout the GCSE dance course and need to be aware of elements such as the stimuli, the intent, the choreographic approach and the features of production. Moving on to a little bit more about what you will learn about, we've split it down into the three elements again. In the performance element of the practical, you learn about physical, technical, expressive and mental skills. In the choreography part, you learn about technical skills, choreographic processes, devices, oral settings, which is music, performance environments, and communication of choreographic intent. And for the dance appreciation, this is where your six professional works come in. These are all explored practically and theoretically, which gives you a holistic understanding of the piece. If you've taken GCSE dance, it's worth thinking about what your future pathways could include. If you want to continue studying in the performance sector, then A-level dance or BTEC performing arts are an option at sick forms. There are also performing arts and dance schools that specialise in specific elements of the dance and performing arts sector. At university, there are many pathways that you can follow, including a degree in dance or dance and professional practice, you can combine dance and drama and look at dance performance and musical theatre. And there's also the option of looking at dance within education. However, if you decide that you don't want to study dance further than GCSE, there are many transferable skills that you can take into other subjects. For example, creativity, group work, problem solving. Career pathways in dance have developed so much over the years and are more now than just becoming a professional dancer or entertainer. Although these options are still available, you can still consider things like teaching, becoming a choreographer, a stage manager, working as an instructor of some kind, such as fitness, yoga or Pilates, 
You may want to be part of the backstage crew looking at lighting and costume design, or you may want to look into photography, dance journalism, or dance therapy. If you are considering GCSE dance, I would suggest you run through some of these questions and just see if GCSE dance is the right option for you. So for example, have you ever had any experience in dance before? It's not a requirement, but it is really helpful if you've been able to learn some style of dance before. Are you open-minded about trying new things? Do you have an interest in dance and its different styles? Do you like working as a member of a group? Are you creative and do you enjoy expressing your ideas through an art form? Can you transfer your dance skills into different contexts and styles? Do you enjoy learning about different types of dance and how they were created? Do you have an interest in the features of production? So the costumes, lighting, set design and music. And are you willing to commit yourself to self-development, rehearsals and intervention in order for you to achieve your best possible grade at GCSE Dance?